the gerund, its formation and its usage. Before we start talking about the details of it, let's look at our picture here. It's a short conversation. So a girl is asking a boy and she's telling him, you should start thinking about something else in life besides eating. And a boy is answering. She's right. Sleeping is also very important. That's just, again, a funny picture of how do we use gerund. Uh, so the words should start thinking, eating, and sleeping indicate the usage of gerund. And let's move to our lesson and learn more. So today we are paying special attention to the affirmative form of a gerund that functions as a noun. We have a picture here and a sentence that goes along with the picture. I enjoy working with my hands. So the form enjoy working is a great example of the gerund. Uh, let's move on to a different slide and check how is it formed. So the formation of a gerund in the present tense consists of two verbs. Uh, the first verb is used in its basic form, and the next verb is used uh, with the help of ending this, the ending ing. So we have verb plus ing. For example, love dancing, and the whole sentence will sound in the following form. I love dancing. You avoid spilling. We keep trying. They regret going. He thinks about moving. She expects selling. It refuses working. So these forms uh, are called gerunds. Love dancing, avoid spilling, keep trying, and so on. We have a list of common verbs that are used only with the gerund. In other words, these verbs, they precede gerund. So we have a verb, for example, allow, and the next verb is going to be a gerund. So the verb with ing. For example, allow going, advise doing, admit working, begin selling, and so on. So let's look through these verbs all together. Allow, advise, admit, begin, consider, continue, deny, delay, finish, forget, hate, imagine, like, prefer, miss, quit, recall, risk, recommend, require, resist, start, stop, suggest, tolerate, try, understand. Let's look how do we use gerund in um, our practical everyday format. My father hates wearing a suit. He avoids wearing formal clothes. So we have hates wearing, avoids wearing. We have two verbs. The first one and the next is used with the ending ing. She regrets spending her vacation at home. Regrets spending. I refuse giving up my dreams. Refuse giving up. Let's check which form are we using here. Peter doesn't like his current job. He starts searching for better positions. This girl keeps looking at her watch. Let's hope the meeting isn't too boring. I avoid going out with my friends a few weeks before my exams. And finally, we have a story about John, and we have a lot of examples of the gerund. So let's read the story first. My brother John loves eating fast food. Whenever he sees a McDonald's hamburger, 
he can refuse buying one. Because of that, John has started gaining lots of weight. He stopped purchasing burgers and considers cooking at home by himself. The doctor advised him to exercise more. John dislikes going to the gym and prefers jogging in the mornings. John begins living a new life and he's quite satisfied with all the new changes. So uh, let's try to find the examples of the gerund here. The first one, loves eating. Two verbs. The first one in, in, in its basic form, uh, we add as because John is the third person singular. And we have eating. Can't refuse buying. Has started gaining. Stopped purchasing. Considers cooking, dislikes going, prefers jogging. That's it for today's video, my friends. Thank you so much for being with us. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and eventually become a student uh, at Highlands Community Charter and Technical Schools. See you later. And bye -bye.